Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a look at creating both a HTML and Android app, uh, which basically has to do with Bitcoin. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're also going to apply prototyping to this so that we can navigate throughout our app. And this will work both with uh, web and Android. And we're also going to add support for iOS and Xamarin Forms very shortly. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for alerts for upcoming videos. Uh, but let's jump right in and let's actually begin to edit this now because we are applying Android to our export we're gonna have to sanitize our layers a bit we can see that the artboards they seem intact they all start with a letter so that's fantastic uh, but if we look at the design what we'll notice is that the design seems to have a status bar now this is great for visual aesthetics but when you're actually programming this is all managed uh, with the app itself and the environment so Android will manage your status and uh, Xcode will manage your status for iOS so we can literally just remove this now once removed you'll note that we do have a gap and what we're gonna have to do and this is the fastest way to correct this is simply select the remaining elements within that artboard and drag them to the top until it snaps. Now you will in essence have to do this for each artboard to remove uh, the status bar because it will give you basically double elements in the output. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's do this. You'll see with this artboard it looks like it doesn't span the entire uh, actual artboard area I should say with the design and this is very important because the default size of Android is 385 so we want to make sure our content maps for that so very quickly if you had to resize your artboard uh, for any reason what you can do is just simply select all the contents within it and then just drag them to fit and they will resize accordingly okay so now that we've sanitized a bit so we've ensured that our actual artboard size is 385 by default this is without using responsive screens uh, we've cleaned up the content a little to remove the excessive elements in the artboards um, not completely but a fair bit so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at some of the prototypes and how we can actually correct them to have a working Android app uh, basically directly afterwards. So if we look at the prototypes, uh, we'll see here that we have a prototype for This looks like the entire wallet. So this looks like this uh, click area itself has a prototype leading to the profile uh, It looks like this chart has a prototype leading to the details and This uh, second card I should well chart card uh, has another details so if we examine this a little bit more, well, let's take a look at this one per se. What we're going to see is it looks like it already actually has a click area. Now this is very important because rather than using prototypes on folders and we discourage this is you should use them on actual elements in the card. Let's just delete the prototype on the card. Let's do the same for this. This also has a click area, so let's apply that. And we can do the same for this. Uh, now, this you should not have uh, in any environment, although uh, it seems like you know you just add your text, you should actually name it. So this, uh, I guess, would be dollar sign. Let's give it to the number. And this should actually not be a number. Now these are very important. Uh, with Android, you cannot have layers that start with numbers in any case. Once you begin to compile, you will receive errors if you're calling uh, that particular layer in certain circumstances. So let's go and let's add this to the profile. We have our component, let's add that to the profile. And let's remove uh, the prototype on the balance itself so now we have a little bit more control let's uh, go back to this let's see what this is on now a simple way to deal with uh, objects if you want to quickly prototype them and also avoid errors in the output is you could easily add an image tag but an image tag will render the entire contents as an image and you'll notice I did not do that 
in the last artboard simply because this looks like it's dynamic information. It's not going to be an image that's generated. So we actually wanted the click action uh, on basically a tap area rather than just simply turning it into an image. But because this is a button, uh, you can get away with that. Okay, let's fix some of the other prototypes. Now I'm converting the, the buttons into images simply because you're likely not going to have dynamic content uh, per button per activity. Uh, it's probably going to be the exact same thing it says all the time. Otherwise, uh, and I can show you exactly what we could do, what we could do is actually attach the prototyping to each element if you actually want to maintain the button. So once we've modified all our prototypes to either include layers or apply uh, the folders as images, what we can do is we can simply run a test export uh, to ensure that it works with HTML first and then what we're going to do is afterwards uh, we're going to run this with uh, Android. So let's start with I think it's cryptos. It's cryptos. So we'll see that some elements overlap because our click area did not complete. See where this goes, it's our balance. Well, we should have enabled SVG. Let's actually go back. Or we can simply do hybrid. We're just testing, we're not correcting someone else's. I don't know why there's a gradient there. Is that supposed to be, I'm not sure, let's remove it. Let's run this once again. I actually should have fixed that click area, but not sure why it didn't. Uh, it's only visible in the white. So what this area should have been is actually a transparent click area. So we can actually just change that now. Now that we've made our click area opaque in essence, or just turned the transparency down, uh, this will actually now place it on top of everything else. And let's do the same for our other group. I believe this was what we have the prototype on. So let's actually move it to the top and let's change the appearance. And this should give us our complete click area. Now we'll note that some fonts are missing. Uh, let's see what fonts they're using actually. SFUI text, uh, don't have that font. That is not a Google font. So you'd have to add that manually. Uh, so that being said, okay, so we have our complete content. Let's go to the details. Let's the details. Let's go back. Our back did not work. This actually rendered each element. So this is a similar situation where you should not use prototypes on a folder. Uh, we would have to actually turn this into an image or actually separate it so that the prototyping is on each layer. Uh, but let's continue. So assuming, continue with credit card. How much? Let's assume it was 50. And the review is not working, nor is the cancel. So let's look at where that is. Uh, we should have added the image to the actual folder itself. And that would have corrected the linking. But it seems that the navigation is working. So what we can do is let's just actually export our Android app. paste and let's rebuild oh, it's actually rebuilding on its own let's ensure our colors and our strings are correct if we note an error we can simply ignore it everything looks intact so let's check the layouts So we can see all our content, 
and it's fully flush to where we expect. You'll note that Android does cover the title of the actual activity and also the status, so that was unnecessary to include within your actual design. If you want to remove these, uh, you'd have to do this through Java itself. So if you're going to have to program, don't give extra assets to your developer partner. They're not going to like it. So let's just continue and see how the others look. Okay, so these are looking fine. So what we can do immediately is let's actually just run this and let's test it. Let's go with the Nexus 5. Should have used the Nexus 5, but... Ah! Why is this the first... Well, that sucks. This is not supposed to be the first screen. Uh, so we can fix this easily actually. You'll see the status bar. Uh, so this is not the correct device size. So let's actually correct all of these. So let's close this. Uh, that was the mistake. Send confirmation, which is the review, actually ends up becoming the first page. So let's change this. And if we want a particular artboard to be the start, this actually has to be the very first artboard. So that was our mistake in the beginning. This should have been uh, the very first in crypto. So let's re-export. Let's just simply recopy the content, replace the existing. Now Android should detect the changes and rebuild, but if it doesn't, you can just rebuild it yourself. The screen seemed fine. So we can go ahead and we can run this again with the corrections for the uh, start screen. But what we are going to do is we're going to look for a Nexus 4 um, because that's the design size that we're targeting actually. Now that we've installed Nexus 4, we can just run. Now you'll see that the app loads perfectly and it actually, oh, whoops, that was my bad. And now it's ran all the information that we had, but you'll note that the dollar sign did not apply because we did not call it dollar sign on every layer. Uh, like I said, Android does not allow you to have layer names that begin uh, without letters. So if you have a number or a special character, it won't render those. So you must actually name your layers. Uh, but let's go through and let's take a look at the app itself. Okay, so by our prototype, this when we click should go to the details and it does. Ah, should have turned on uh, SVG, but that's okay. These are little things that we can fix within the actual uh, design itself. And let's go back. Let's click on the details of the actual chart. Hey, let's buy some. And we want to continue with credit card. Now again, sizing is all dependent on the actual design. Had we placed the button closer to the bottom, uh, that's exactly how it would have came out. Let's buy this. Fantastic, we bought it. Okay. So we were able to go through our entire process uh, literally the exact same way that we did uh, with our prototyping in our HTML and within XD, but this is now a working Android app uh, with actual Java code. So you'll see here quick and easily with Export Kit, you can design and maintain virtually any app or website.